Good morning. My Apple are back. Here's the plan. It feels like a really busy build site today, and I think it's because there's lots of little groups of people doing different things. So there is, of course, skim coating, painting, tiling, and in fact, a new area for tiling today. There's plumbing, there's electrical work with actual lights going in, in one place that I've seen so far. There is a ton going on. Build delicious so far. What could possibly go wrong? We'll start today at the back of the house. Uh, where Mr. Romeo at the moment is just touching up the waterproof cover uh, around where they've punched holes in this wall. So what we have now, where he's working right now, is wiring for a light fixture. Let's take an easy pill. Another light fixture is the right-sided one of the two that you can probably make out up here. The left-sided one is for a security camera. Uh, and we will try and make sure that it's not blocked in any way by that pipe. The, uh, the cameras we've got are highly adjustable. We should be able to manage to see around, I think. Right, moving slightly inside. Elson and Frederick just been doing a little bit of chipping out on this floor for the sunroom. And here, they are likely to be starting to lay tiles today. And the tiles they're going to use? The same ones that we've used in the living room and dining room. Inside the small bathroom off the side of the sunroom, Richard's moved on. I think the frame is all in. So ready whenever they want to, to come back and put the ceiling panels in here, which again, because it's a wet room, that'll be hardy flex. Right. We are in the helper's bathroom and these legs belong to Sing Enrico and he is working on the ceiling frame inside here. In the hallway upstairs the tiling is done. Both of these kind of panels are finished and now we've got our third electrician on site. And he and Bapa Jess are working on the lights inside these narrow channels. And we might be able to see there's one in there. There's a smaller one in there. And they're working on a third one. Further down the hallway, painter Ernie applying a primer in these little uh, recessed areas prior eventually to taking them back to that wood colour. At the other end of the hallway, a lot more skim coat has been going on here this morning and they are erecting barriers to me trying to get up and down the stairs. It's alright when you're five foot seven, when you're a bit taller, that becomes a bit of a challenge. In the master bedroom. Mr. René has almost finished these tiles on the wall where the bed head will be. After he's just secured these in place, just two to go. Up on the roof of the gym and spa, Mr. Renell, our plumber, and engineer Raphael, just working out the exact exit point for the next uh, duct to carry air out of the bathrooms. So they've got a couple done now. Uh, they're not all connected. We saw yesterday the uh, one from the master bathroom is not fully connected yet, uh, and it's still not this morning. In fact, no, they've only got one uh, coming out so far, not two, uh, but I'm sure we will have more by the end of the day. Out at the front of the house, Irwin's got one of the tougher jobs today. It's a, a hot morning again. He's got no shade where he's standing and he's got to stand there and sift this stuff for goodness knows how long. Good job he's young and fit. It's just after lunch. 
and the plan has changed. They're not, for the time being, putting tiles on the floor of the sunroom. Frederick is putting tiles somewhere else. It's here, on the wall of the downstairs hallway, immediately outside the dining room. So, the builder delivered these this morning, these kind of stone looking tiles, which will go in here. I'm being warned. There are people above me. I better not stand here any longer. So anyway, this is what the tiles look like. That should work very well with the floor tiles here. We'll see once the board that he's standing on is removed. We're inside what is the only room left in the entire building that hasn't really had any attention on finishing. It's the home theatre. And we've got R&R, &R, original Rico and Rico, putting together some platforms because they're about to get to work on the ceiling. Oh, this room is long overdue for a bit of love and attention. And this wasn't in the plan either. These plans they're giving me in the morning, absolute rubbish. We're back in the laundry room. Uh, Mr. Rene and Carlito are in here and they're not finishing off the floor. They're putting tiles as a kind of a backsplash, I suppose, up on this counter. That's something that wasn't in the plan either. Above the stairs, Herwin with an H, back to work on skim coating here. So that is the second coat, at least. Pretty sure it's the second one. Still got quite a big area to cover. The reason that Rene and Carlito are downstairs is because they finished here. All of those tiles are in. Okay, a quick correction from the engineer. It's not finished. They need a little bit more right up at the top but they don't have any right now. They did have enough, but apparently a couple got broken along the way. So we'll have to wait to get that bit finished off. At the double height ceiling upstairs, we have all three of our electricians working on light fixtures in here. So there'll be strip lights down the side of each of these panels. And over here, Mr. Ernie still with his skim coaterators doing these little recessed areas and again I think there'll be small lights in there. Mr Willie is in Alex's room just applying a, an undercoat, a primer uh, that is specific for wood and he's doing that around these high up edges and this ceiling where well, yesterday I wasn't sure why there are some areas that have been left white. And it is something we're still thinking about. Uh, well, I say we, my beautiful Asawa is thinking about. The, the decoration for this room is really quite dark. Take a dizzy pill. That's the rendering we've got. It is very dark. So we're just wondering, my Asawa is wondering, whether actually leaving these areas at the edge white might be a better option still to be decided uh, this is inside Alex's bathroom uh, Mr. Ronell the plumber he's not here right now but he's working on the ducting for this exhaust fan in the helper's bathroom ceiling frame finished in the Spa and gin. These legs are not singing Rico. They are our plumber, Mr. Rennell, who's multitasking, working on piping here for the exhaust as well as that bedroom which is directly above. Something else that has been delivered, in fact, this came yesterday, uh, is some of the water closets, the WCs, the toilets, and the multiple other names they might have. Uh, there's five here, and that means we're still short four. 
Uh, I think that's because maybe in a couple of the bathrooms, particularly possibly in the master, there'll be something a little bit different. But these are ready to go in. That will be quite a long way in the future though. Uh, there's a lot more work to be done before these can get put in. It's 4.30, the bell's just gone. Which means it's that time of day again. We're gonna go back to Mega Wegger, the man who started it all. He says, fella walks into a bar. As he sits down, he notices three pieces of meat hanging from pieces of string from the ceiling. He says to the barman, what's that all about then? Barman says, it's a challenge. If you can jump up and slap all three pieces, you get free drinks for an hour. If you miss even one, you pay for everybody else's drinks in the bar for the rest of the night. You wanna have a go? Fella has another look and then he says, I think I'll pass, the stakes are too high. And with that, inside we go. The first thing that is immediately noticeable is we've got a wall of stone. Well, it's not stone, it's tiles, but it's stone appearance. I do like that. Not sure if that is gonna be extended beyond its current location. I'll find out tomorrow morning. On the floor of the dining room, we have a lot of boxes of those stone tiles. So obviously that one little area of the wall is not the only place these are going. Inside the home theater, not a massive amount of progress with the ceiling, but they have got the initial guide rail around almost two walls. Clearly a massive amount still to be done. On the outside of the spa area, we've got a new pipe emerging. That's the vent duct for the small bathroom inside the spa. Still not all connected, but they've made a start. Inside the laundry room, lots of tiles done. So it's not just a backsplash, they've used it for a countertop and for the edging down at the side and all around the sink area. We will see what they do with the rest of the walls. In the double height ceiling, uh, in the upstairs hallway, we do now have these tube lights in all of these little recesses except this little tiny one at the front. And it's not obvious, but I'm pretty sure, because I saw them working on it earlier, they've also at least started to put strip lights along the edge of these tiles, I think, on all sides. This is looking from the little walkway between the master bedroom and the walk-in closet, and it's looking back down over the stairs along the hallway, and there's a lot more skim coat or paint up on the ceiling. I've not been paying attention, but I think here in the master bedroom, we've got a lot more dangling wires for where light fixtures of various sorts will be attached. I think at least some of that might have been today. In Alex's bedroom, a lot more white, fresh white on the walls. Well, not on that wall, but all around the rest of the room, more skim coat or possibly some primer. This is Sabrina's bedroom, and I really, I've got to pay better attention. There's lots more dangly wires in the ceiling, and it's not just in here, it's in every bedroom. I can't imagine that all of this was today, so I've just not had my eyes open when I've been looking in these rooms in the last few days. Well, that is the end of the day. A day that, even more than yesterday, there was a plan, and it changed a lot. So we didn't get the sunroom floor tiled, but we got so many other things in its place. All good. Different plan, still build delicious.
See you tomorrow.